Hi, this is Gary with the Lily Band, Psalmist Ministry. God bless you. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of a tribe of Judah bamboo flute that I have been making for the Lord now for several years. Uh, not this particular style, but this is a new one that he's given me to make. And it's very simple. You don't need any uh, experience previously to do this. You just blow right into this with the Ruach, the breath of God, Yahweh. And then out of this comes a beautiful sound right through that hole. And you cover these holes right here. And you can play a simple G pentatonic minor scale. And it will also play a major scale. Uh, it's much to learn on one of these flutes with as far as notes that can be played. It's beyond what you see with five holes. It's not just six notes being played. It's beyond that. You can play chromatic. If you know anything about music, you can play chromatic scale with the five hole flute. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, but the most important thing is that you pray and play by the Holy Spirit. And it's your heart. It's our hearts before the Father that is a beautiful instrument of worship. And that heart is reflected through the sounds as we praise and worship Him. So uh, I'm going to show you a quick demo here, just a front demo. Let me show you that we want to make sure that your fingers have the right imprint. See that? I got imprint. Imprint on my finger. You need to press down on the hole uh, firm enough that you don't have any air gaps coming underneath the holes. And I don't know if I can get the correct video on it, but there it is. You see I'm making a good imprint on that. So we start this way. Apologize if I'm going fast. Just rewind it if you need to. We're going to go up like this and down. That's the whole simplicity of the minor pentatonic scale. It's a beautiful scale. Uh, you can play by twos, play by threes. Uh, you can just, as you go up and down, you're not going to go wrong with this flute. It sounds beautiful. It's a beautiful scale. And I'm going to play it for you now. Uh, on the bottom note of these flutes, we'll cover all like that. We'll start that way. I'm going to go like this. When you play harder, you get the octave note. And you also have the octave note by uncovering all of them. Like that. Different ways to reach that octave note. So let's go up and down the scale one time, just playing it with one continuous breath. very easy to play. Uh, there's some techniques I want to show you. One of them is uh, the vibrato, which is this sound. You can hear the variation in the sound doing ha ha ha, because that's what I'm saying really. I'm saying ha 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 ha. I think of the scripture when it says the Lord laughs, sits up in the heavens and laughs at his enemy. So anyway, you just kind of get into laughter with him. Amen. He laughs. You need to laugh with him. Okay, that's one technique. Another technique is uh, think of like you're gurgling. Okay, uh, you go with your voice and you get a neat little sound that sounds like that. That's another technique. Um, here's another one. Just take your breath and go, you know, just breathe out real hard and strong into the flute and it'll get a beautiful overtone sound. And it works even better when you take that and you release the note at the same time. Uh, when you go like that, just watch this. And that's simply going by toot, toot, toot. So there's, you can play the scale just like it is, or you can say toot, toot. What do you want to say to make the staccato sound of a note? Bending notes. I want to show that to you. When your finger is upon the hole right here, you just roll your finger right off like that. See, it's uncovering it. The slower you go, the slower the note goes up. And then back down when you cover it. Okay? Which works really good uh, when you want to just emphasize the note going from one to the next. So we'll do that on a couple of them get you an idea of it.
uh, if you're hearing them quick little, I'll call them whoops. <laughs> what else can you call them? They sound like whoops. They just take your finger very fast and just quickly, just, you know, randomly move it off one of the holes. And you're going to get a quick little whoop sound. So you can do it that way. Uh, there's so many things you can do with this flute. Uh, let me show you uh, as best as I can with a, a song of Amazing Grace on this flute to show you the G major scale of it. Um, if I mess up, please do forgive me in advance. I do not play this song and rehearse it to know it by heart on this flute. I, I generally play these flutes. It's spirit-led, Holy Spirit-led is how I play these flutes in ministering times and worship times. It's just as the breath of God gives me to play it, I play it with the skill. All right, here's the Amazing Grace in the key of G major. I'll turn the flute better so you can see what I'm doing. I'll stop right there and tell you that that was a half note at the bottom. All holes covered except the bottom is halfway covered. And then you close down to get that lower note. Watch. That's all hold, holes open. Okay. Half note. You'll see my little trills, the whoops. Back to the minor scale. If you just play it like this, that is the minor scale. And the other way is a little more uh, need to learn it of the major scale of G major. So anyway, you have all the notes in between of a G minor or a G major. And if you're not musically uh, inclined to know what that means, uh, it's just the way that it sounds with the way the notes are in the scale. One sounds more what I call mysterious. The other sounds more bright and uh, maybe happier sounding so to say a major scale so I tend to like the minors because I like the deep mysterious type things um, so and by the way if you play these uh, when you get into a stairwell uh, find a good stairwell with a lot of open area or somewhere with a hall that it's not too big but something small enough that you can hear the good echo of this flute it's it's really amazing to play these instruments like that um, so, okay, I'm going to do a quick little run through and uh, that'll be it, okay? Toozy. I'm blowing hard and blowing off and releasing at the same time, and I'm also doing a quick. You see at the top, it's kind of like a, a roll up real quick. Okay, that was it. If you have any questions, now I'm going to slow down. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us through an email or call our office number, uh, two numbers, 442-444. 0922 or 941 538 7383. Both come to the office number. We have two of them. Okay. All right. God bless you.